Hello everybody, Mobius1 here, bringing you the next episode of Star Wars, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, we just finished up Tatooine. Let's, uh, let's actually just travel to, to the next planet. We're going to Kashyyyk next. Nope, nope, nope. Yes, Kashyyyk. Travel. Another vision. The Force is guiding us, helping us retrace the steps of Malak and his old master, leading us ever closer to the Star Forge. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have expected to find the alien technology of a star map here. Uh, it looks like the star map was on the forest floor. The Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only their bravest warriors dare to descend into the forbidding depths of the forest. If the star map is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest, it's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Well, wouldn't, wouldn't we like things to become more clear before we discover the location? I mean, what point is, what point is it if things become clear once we discover the location? <sighs> oh well. Alright, so here we is, back on the Ebon Hawk. Um, you know what we should have done? We should have taken this girl, Sasha, to Dantooine. Let's talk to her again. Uh, communicate with her in her language. Why are you heading on my head now? Alright, never mind. So we know we have to take her to Dantooine. And these Gizka. I mean, we could we could go around. You can actually kill the Gizka. I think I might have mentioned that in the last episode. Yeah, you can kill it. But as soon as you kill it, another one appears. So there's really no point in doing that. Uh, you can buy Gizka poison, but again, that's such dark side. There's a way to get them off of the ship, light side, which we'll do later. Um, and since we're here on Kashik, why not take mission in Zalbar? It is Zalbar's home planet after all. <laughs> Greetings to you, er, while I am pleased to welcome you to the planet G5623, I do not see your ship on my docking schedule. The Zerka Corporation will see to your needs, of course, but there will be a 100 credit docking fee in advance, I fear. Um... What services do 100 credits get me? Well, we are limited in many ways, but I doubt you will find even basic facilities anywhere else in this remote sector, but I'm sorry, I must really insist that the docking fees be paid before I impart any further services. I must follow proper procedure. Upon collection of the credit fees, I will accept what resources the Zerka Corporation can offer. I'm sure you understand. I can force persuade him, but 100 credits is nothing, so here. 
You are welcome on a DN. Trade designation G5623 Zerker Corporation welcomes your business. We should discuss your interests in my office. I see you have a Wookiee with you. Can I assume you understand their language? For a fee, Zerker Corporation can provide a translator for you during your visit. Uh, that will not be necessary. <laughs> Very well, though only the most adaptive people seem to comprehend that Wookiee language such as it is. Now then, please follow me to our information center. I will answer any further questions there. Alright, looks like Zalbar is leveled up. So let's go ahead and level him up. This is, like, volume on this is way too loud. I hope it's not just, or I hope it's me and, uh, not just, not the stream. Or the whatever. I hope you guys can hear it all right. Is what I'm trying to say. What feat do you get? Oh, he totally needs tough, improved toughness. Subtracts two points of damage. Of course, you're a Wookiee. It's gonna be taking lots of damage. Yes. All right. Let's check their gear. Uh, because I don't think I've updated their. Yeah. See. Okay. You need. You need a shield, but what type of shield do you need? Bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, elect energy, energy, sonic, electrical, 30 points, 50 points, that a Ch Chani shield is, is beast. But I want to save that for myself. I'll give her this one. She's already got a Mandalorian melee shield. So she's using that Sith Assassin p pistol. She's got Brezik's belt, which gives her some defense. Yeah, we'll go with that. And she can't wear any other armor, so... Oh, Zabar's not wearing... He's got nothing equipped. Or is he not allowed to have anything equipped? Oh, no. I just haven't used him. Uh, fortitude... Wait, what's the nerve... Or, uh, mind affecting? Nah. We'll give him Mandalorian melee shield. Oh, he can't wear that. He could have an implant, though. Dex plus one. And uh, he doesn't need another shield. Does he have two-handed fighting, or does he have dueling? He doesn't have either. Wookie toughness. I don't want to give him two swords, since he doesn't have sure. two-handed fighting feet. So he'll have to just go with that for now. Can I open this? Ugh. What? What? Can you open it? Gotcha. Simple. I don't want to get in trouble. What was that though? Uh, plus five uh, damage, damage resist versus sonic. Oh, computer use plus four, demolitions plus four, security plus four. Yeah, I think she will take that. Though now she looks like what's his face from Star Trek. Sure. Rodian. Photo Mado. What do you want? I don't get a lot of time, or yeah, I don't get a lot of time off from loading cargo. If you got something to say, make it quick. Um, what do you do for Zerka? It's not actually a real employee. He doesn't get a uniform. I work straight through the day, but mostly I just pass the time playing. But always oh, a Pazak player. All right, fine. We'll play. Seventy-five credits ain't that much. And do, 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 do. it looks like that's all I can do. I haven't invested a lot of time in getting better cards. Six, nine. Remember, we're trying to get as close to 20 without going over. And 22, but we have a minus two, so we'll play that. Boom. Oh, he tied us. Okay, but at least we both used a card. Good, that was nice. I like it when he goes over without me having to play any cards. And we'll do a plus five to get perfect twenty. Oh, he did the same thing. See now now we're in trouble because now we're stuck with two plus four cards. Oh, see I I could play a plus four here and then stand on eighteen, but that's risky. I'll just hope the cards deal right. Uh twenty one. I need low. Oh, see, this is not good. I'm gonna go over again. Yeah. 
This is why it's actually better to have minus cards in your Pizzoc deck instead of the plus cards. Because, oh, well that worked out. Because if you, it's always better to go over and then subtract because you could get really lucky and uh, land on a natural 20, but this might actually pay off. Ooh, crap. So now I'm really in trouble. I have no cards. Oh, good. Looks like... Oh, shoot. Shoot. Yeah! Whoa! No, I have to go. Well, there's 75 credits back, so that basically just covered my docking fee. Just about. Let's see. Comad. Greetings again to you, human. It would seem the call of the hunt has brought us both to this troubled world. I have not been here long, but I can already see it will not be as welcome here as I had hoped. What are you doing here, Comad? Following me? Well, I'm sure you would prove an interesting hunt. I don't track sentient prey. Two-legged animals do their fine, uh, do a fine job of killing each other without me. I've come here to seek even greater prey than what we faced in Tatooine, but the climate here is politically cold, and I don't know if I will be allowed to hunt. Uh, what permission are you looking for? An astute question. Zerka Corporation seems in control here, but they don't care if I wander the Shadowlands so long as I have paid their docking fee. Instead, I hope to gain the trust of the native Wookiee population. I'm not here just to kill the biggest thing I can find. I want to understand how they hunt. Okay, what are you going to do to gain their trust? Very little. I'm sure they have had enough off-world. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. I have heard of an off-worlder that has gained respect by living in the Shadowlands for some years. Perhaps I will attempt the same. It could just be Hunter Tales, though. Okay. Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Circa Merchant. Uh-oh. Something's happening. Kashik, my home. I should have prepared you for coming here, but I don't know if I've prepared myself. Prepared me? What do you mean? I didn't leave Kashik voluntarily. Mission must have told you how I was fleeing slavers, but there was more. I'm an exile. The slavers on Kashik only took me after I was forced to leave my village home 20 years ago. Why were you forced to leave? My brother made deals with the slavers and allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked him. The fight was stopped, but my father did not believe me when I told him about my brother's actions. I was made in exile, disowned by my home and people. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Uh, time has passed. Things have changed. The slavers are still here. This dock is theirs. I doubt anyone has risen to try and fight. Nothing has changed. I just hope I can prove myself to my people. It will be difficult to make them listen. I just don't know. Alright, we'll deal with that if we have to. Let's go. I don't have much hope. Aww. Salbar has no hope. Greetings to you. Something I can get for you? Kindly direct your inquiries to me. Martin is merely an indebted employee. His opinions don't amount to much. Um, okay. That's rude. So, new spaces have come to Wild Kashik. Please, look well upon the wares of Eli Gand. I live to serve your needs. Just be sure to pay cash. The interest on his loans will drain you like a Diluvian fatworm on a hut's backside. First off, hearts are all backside. Secondly, I don't much like the comparison. No need to get personal. It's just business. Poor fellow. He's been waiting for his friends to return with my money for a standard month now. Ah, but you don't need to hear this. What can I get you? Um... Do you always enslave your debtors? Enslave? I resent that. Simply fair business. This man's fellow's left without settling their debts, so he must make up the difference. I know, I know. It's standard trading rules. I just want to know where my crew went. I was only gone for two days. This isn't like them. Yes, very sad that they would abandon you. Especially while you were doing me a favor and helping repair one of my freighters. Something about this whole situation stinks worse than an overcrowded Ronto stable. What kind of friends would just abandon a crewmate? You think you know someone and they turn out to be a cheat. Oh, not like you, madam. You honor your deals. A word is a bond in trade. Your debtors have a habit of running off. Uh, it happens from time to time. 
credits are scarce out here, and not everyone is as honest as Mr. Dacel here. You'll get your money. My crew will be back. Of course they will. Until then, however, I can make use of you as a mechanic. Very rare to find skills of your kind out here. How much debt buys a man's life? Oh, it isn't about the amount. After all, as a skilled mechanic, Matten is worth much more than what is owed, especially on this remote planet. Oh, you flatter me, Eli. I guess we're best buddies now. <clears throat> as I was saying, it's a matter of principle. I'm nothing if not honest in my dealings, and I demand the same. He'll be free to go when his friends turn up and the debt is paid. I honor my deals. Let no one say otherwise. Perhaps I can settle some of his debt. Thanks, but no thanks. No offense, but there's no point in exchanging debt to Eli with debt to you. Besides, he is a hard worker. I'd prefer to keep him. All right, fine. Of course. I'm here to serve. Let me see what you carry. Of course. You're in a hurry. All right, first thing I see, reinforced fiber armor. It's light armor with a defense bonus of 7. Max dex plus 4. It's not upgradable, though. That doesn't really stand out to me. How many advanced med packs do I have? Just three. Let's buy a couple of these. Military suit. See, that this makes no sense to me. I guess because it's the price, the price difference. This is medium armor with a defense bonus of 6. This is light armor with a defense bonus of 7. Logic! Use light armor with a defense bonus of five, four. Whoa. Whoa. Jamo Hagra's battle armor. Defense bonus 11. Max dex plus two. Immunity critical hits. Strength plus one. If I scroll down and this says special upgradable, I'm buying this. Oh, man. That's disappointing. I really wanted that to be upgradable. Breath mask. Strength gauntlets. Energy shields. Belts. Implants. Dex plus three. And then stimulants and more Giska poison. Let me see. See, I don't need Jedi robe. I don't need clothing. I don't need a Chani battle armor anymore. I don't really need all of these Nurgle bands either. Let me see. So this armor was a defense bonus 11, right? 11, max dex plus 2, immune to critical hits, and strength plus 1. So the armor that I'm wearing, oh, dex bonus, or de defense bonus 12, plus all those resistances, immunity to both critical hits and mind affecting. <sighs> yeah, I mean, it's good, but good for who? Karth? No, Karth doesn't use strength. I mean, I guess it would be good for Candorous if uh, if I had him using melee weapons, but I don't, so I, I really don't need it. Four concussion grenades. Wow, more grenades. I like how this guy just sees me stealing all their stuff and doesn't say anything. <laughs> Greetings again. How can Circa Port Corporation serve you during your stay on Edean? Uh, wait a minute. Tell me about the planet. You called it G5623 before. G5623 is the numerical designation. The galactic basic name is Edean, chosen by corporate ballot among stockholders. It would seem you are already acquainted with this world, given your choice on traveling companion. I have been away for a very long time. You let the beasts speak for you? You allow more liberties than most of our customers. 
Uh, a lot more liberties? What do you mean? He means that they are slavers, they take my people from their homes, and they sell them to the highest bidder. Your current Wookiee seems displeased with the situation, but I fail to see a concern. You seem to be a satisfied customer. Zabar is no slave. He has pledged a life debt to me. Ah, a very difficult thing to stage. I commend you for it. It's so much easier than relying on restraining collars. Do not demean the life debt. Do not. I must warn you that you will be blamed for the actions of your Wookiee. Please, call him off. Uh... Hmm. Why do the Wookiees tolerate you doing this? It is not me, personally. I merely represent Zerka Corporation at this outpost. There are other directors at other stations, of course. Arrangements have been made within the Wookiee leadership. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible, relatively speaking. Force Persuade, you want to tell me about these agreements. I can tell you about the agreement. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy Wookiees. We are kept profitable and an agreeable leader is kept in power. It keeps the process from becoming a constant firefight. What is this leader's name? I believe his name is Chundar. I don't deal directly with them, thank goodness. Far too brutish. Er, that is not a name I wanted to hear. It sounds as though your thrall has an opinion about our arrangement with this leader, but it doesn't matter. Chundar is unquestioned. What, what about it, Zalbar? What's the matter? This is not something I will talk about. Not yet. Please, is there anything else I have work to do? No, we're done. Does this guy have anything to sell, though? No. Weapons? Oh, he does. He's a weapon vendor. Both and stun stick. Uh, you really nothing that I oh vibration cell. I'll buy that because it's an upgrade item. That's really all I want from him. Let's go. I've been on this planet for twenty minutes now, and we haven't really done anything yet. Hey, Big Z, we gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What'd they feed you, buddy? <laughs> they didn't. I wasn't their guest mission. I was a prisoner. I don't think they cared much what happened to me. Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. <laughs> I did manage to take a chunk out of an arm of a guard that wandered too close to my cage, but it tasted awful, so I spit it out. Ew! No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorians smell like Bantha Poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. Wookiees do not brush their teeth mission. It, it just isn't done. What humiliation will you use on me next to comb? Okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. I'll take care of it as soon as I can, Mission For Now. Let's stay focused on the task at hand. Thank God we had to witness that exchange. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in Wild Adean. Katarn attacks are especially bad right now. Wookiee hunters usually keep numbers down, but I think they leave certain areas infested, just hoping a Zerka guard will get killed. Alright, I'm going past here. I paid the landing fee. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. Ah, forest Katarns! Oh no, these are forest. Forest Kinrath, I'm sorry. That purple lightsaber looks so pimp. Can you sense it? The wind, the sound, the smells. I feel it all now that we are away from the spaceport. This walkway is new, probably built by the slavers, but I remember the trees. My village is not far from here. 
What can I expect to encounter? I'm sorry, I don't know. It's been so long since I left. I only know the way things were, and many things have changed. Things may have changed. I must warn you of one thing. I don't know if I will be of he be a help or hindrance to you here. My father was very powerful, a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear all this time, I may be very unwelcome. Alright, we'll deal with that when the time comes. That is what I am dreading. My shame was meant to be forgotten on some faraway world. I never thought I'd come back. I'm sorry I've taken enough of your time. We should press on. So, I can actually choose to not bring him, and like it avoids all of this drama that we're encountering, but I'm going to keep him with me. This isn't good. I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? We'll work it out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Um, my name is Mobius. What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. You put it down? We're not animals. Zabar, let me handle this. But their disregard for the life of this Wookiee is too much. I have asked you to let me handle this. Honor my request. I will do so, for your sake, not theirs. Careful now. That growl sounded pretty threatening. Keep your slave on its leash or we'll have another accident. Just shut up, you trigger-happy idiot. Do your superiors approve of you killing Wookiees? Of course they don't. Why would you ask me that? You're doing some sort of snap inspection? You're trying to get me to admit to incompetence, aren't you? Not going to happen. I stand by my patrol. This Wookiee got out of hand and had to be put down. We'll find another easy enough. Uh, I won't allow you to enslave or kill another Wookiee. Is that a joke? Who do you think you are? Force persuade, request a transfer, move your patrol off world. I could kill him. Now I'll just force persuade. I, uh, I think I should pull in some favors and get us moved off world, then. Uh, are you... All right, Captain. Are you questioning my orders? You don't want to do that. If... if you say so, Captain. Yes, I say so. Move out. This place just isn't worth the trouble. Light side points gain. Oh, are they gonna set... Wow. Why wouldn't they set off the mines? That what? upsets me. I would have loved to have seen them run right through that mine and blow up. Sure. This thing. Wookie's standing there. Let's go this way first.
station what what can you how many spikes it cost you to slice it mission eight computer spikes I have 24 all right let's do it hey that lever leveled her up attributes mission can use one more wisdom skills demo stealth awareness security Oh, see, she only has two points in computer use. And then Zalbar levels up again. Zalbar can use... Oh, no, he needs... See, wait a minute, let me... Before I level him up... Oh, I can't go back? That sucks. Uh, fine, I'll give him one more constitution, because, wow, plus six to constitution. No. For now, I'll give him dex. Uh, do I give him the plus two dex? Yeah, that way he he can hit targets easier. Demo, repair, treat injury. Okay. Sure. And now we have access to these boxes. This better be worth eight computer spikes. It would be great as if there were eight computer spikes in here. Two combat. Wow, that was not worth it at all. I'm pretty much just going to sell most of that stuff. Uh oh. This looks menacing. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. But guess what? That won't be you! <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Need another purple lightsaber, damaged crystal. Crystal next door, another purple lightsaber. Yellow belt, dark Jedi night robe. Okay. And is this this is the elevator into the Shadowlands? Or is this the Wookiee? You enter the domain of Chundar, chieftain and leader. Stand aside, this human is with me and I want access to my to the home of my people. You have no rights here, Mad Claw. This human should not have brought his taint upon our land. You must answer to Chundar. What taint? My taint? Or your taint? Oh, you're talking about a different kind of taint. He means me. I am the taint that you have brought back. <laughs> uh. Shut up, Growl. You are nameless with dishonor, Mad Claw. Yours is a foulness that disgusts me. You must clean your taint. Enough talk. You and the outcast, Mad Claw, will be taken to Chundar now. Oh, I just want to save my game. Oh, great. They took him away from me. All right. Well, we'll, we'll add HK back in, and uh, we had enough of mission. Let's bring Can. Oh, see, Candor is in HK. I kind of need... I want another melee character. So... Candorous or HK? We'll go with Candorous because we we played with HK more recently and we'll bring Bastila for another melee character. Candorous, the Power Ranger. 
Step forward and address, mighty and wise Chundar, outsider. I don't often allow visitors of your kind. You are flanked by Zerka slavers. Are they not outsiders? Or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Ah, uh, Brother Zalbar, you have been exiled for a long time. You shouldn't speak in that tone. Things are different now. You are a mad claw without honor. You have no voice among your own people. I, on the other hand, am chieftain. You have made deals with slavers. The truth will get out eventually. You may talk, but no one will believe you. I've had a long time to guide what my people think. They trust me, the mighty Chundar. Even with my brother insane and father enslaved, I rose to protect my people despite it all. Father was enslaved? Mighty Chundar? What are you talking about? You were the runt! I am no runt. Ahem. Like I said, Zabar, a lot has changed in your years away. We will discuss this soon enough. Uh, what do you want? Why drag us here? Is there a point to this? Why drag us here? I haven't killed Zalbar because he is my brother, and I had hoped he and I could come to an agreement. You are irrelevant. I may be able to put you to use on a menial task. Zalbar will have to stay here, of course. What is this task? A simple thing. Another Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Zalbar. Gone mad and been exiled. He now lurks in the Shadowlands. More importantly, he's pestering my Zerka allies during their Shadowland expeditions. It is not good for business. He's standing against you, the first of many, perhaps? Uh, okay, yeah. No one will follow a mad Galah. He is merely a nuisance. Besides, he cowers in the Shadowlands. My people know nothing of him. Vine, I'll consider what you have said. I'll go now. I'll allow you access to the Shadowlands. You will track and kill this insane Wookiee, and maybe then you will earn my favor. Zabar stays here to ensure your loyalty. The Zerka will never let me hold you, but they don't care what I do with fellow Wookiees. I need Zalbar with me as a guide. No, you won't need him to find your way. Over the years, I have my people trained to understand Galactic Basic. I tell them it's better to understand the enemy. They think it will make the Zerka easier to fight. Actually, it makes them easier to obey. Remember, you can't beat me here. No one would dare oppose me to join with an outsider or an exile. You're wrong, brother. Someone would. Who are you talking about, Zalbar? Do you speak of Friar, our father? Why? He was the one that ordered you exile when you attacked me. He went as mad as you when he finally discovered the slavers. He dared challenge them alone and has not been seen since. That was years ago. Let him go, Zalbar. I rule now. I'll take the Wookiees forward. But there are prices to be paid. Are prices to pay. <sighs> Play along, Zalbar. I'll see what I can do. No more words, outsider. I've given my orders. I can't hold you here, but Zalbar will stay until you kill the Mad Glaw in the Shadowlands. I suppose we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. The guards will let you pass now. Leave the village through the northwest and follow the platform to the south and then east. You eventually see where Gorwukin waits for you. He'll lower you onto the forest floor. Go. Alright. Oh man. So they just kind of kicked me out. Yeah? I'm gonna level up Candorus and Bastila. Ooh, Candorus gets multiple levels. Master Toughness, that's nice. Bastila. Wow, she's just now getting improved flurry. Powers. Oh, thank god she gets heal. Okay, let's check their equipment. Jedi Knight Robe. There we go, Jedi Master Robe. Finally. Okay, so Candorus. He's got eight defense with a plus two max dex. 
Here we go. So he'll be better off in Davik's war suit. Okay. At least it doesn't look like a Power Ranger anymore. Oh, of course, Basil has something on her have? mind. You wanted to speak with me? Yes, I did. I wanted to speak to you about our mission and what lies ahead for us. It seems fate, or the Force, is driving us into a confrontation with the Dark Lord. You must prepare yourself for when we face Malak. The confrontation will be difficult for you. I remember how hard it was when I first faced Revan. Is it true you killed Darth Revan? It's true that due to my battle meditation, I was with the Jedi Strike team that boarded Revan's ship. We did not kill Revan, however. But killing Revan is what you're famous for. Our mission was to capture Revan if possible. It was Malak who turned on his own master, firing upon Revan's ship while we were still on board it. It was his desire to kill us and his master both. Thankfully, we narrowly escaped the vessel as it exploded. So Malak did your job for you? As I said, we were there to capture Revan alive. The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. Remember that Revan and Malak were once great Jedi, heroes in every sense of the word. They demonstrate the danger of the dark side to us all. I'm sorry, we really shouldn't speak of this anymore. The memory of my confrontation with Revan is painful. Let's return to the mission, please. Okay. Now we got that out of the way. I think that is enough for one episode. I'm trying to do a little bit more than 30 minutes per episode of this because I don't want this game series to last forever. But at least now we are a decent way through Kashyyyk. We'll probably finish Kashyyyk in another two, three episodes at the most. So I'm going to save my game. Look at this. Wow, we're already thir almost 14 hours in. Alright, Mobius1 here, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.